The terms psychic and clairvoyant are often used interchangeably, and understandably so, because most psychics, at least all of the ones I know, are clairvoyant. But did you know that most psychics use four or five of their clair senses in their work? In this video, I'm going to explain to you what the five main clair senses are and give you some tips to help you prime those clair senses for your psychic development. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, spiritual life coach and intuitive reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you enjoy information like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. What are the clair senses? The clair senses are psychic senses, psychic senses that correspond to your physical senses. Your physical senses allow you to gather information about people, places, and events in the physical world. Your clair senses are a way that you're able to tap into um, knowledge that is outside of your physical realm, outside of your given knowledge of any people, places, and events. Your clair senses are one way that you receive psychic information, and learning to strengthen your clair senses is going to help strengthen your psychic ability. The first clair sense is clairvoyance, or clear seeing. It's your psychic vision. Most psychics use clairvoyance a great deal in their work, and there's two ways that clairvoyance will work for you. One is when we see an image in our mind's eye whether you see a vision of a place or you see people. Um, when you have a vision but you see it within your mind's eye, that's one form. But clairvoyance also works for us when we're seeing something outside of ourselves, that something that's not usually visible to most people who haven't opened to their psychic abilities, um, seeing a spirit, seeing uh, elementals, um, that's another form of clairvoyance. And a good way that you can start training or priming yourself for clairvoyance is to just be observant of the world around you. Take time to, uh, say, sit in your bedroom during the day and just observe every detail or go out in your garden in the backyard. Observe every detail that you see. Things that we often overlook, really pay attention to the detail. Then try the same exercise but at night in the dark have the lights off in your bedroom or go out in your backyard turn the lights off and really get a feel for uh, what you're seeing um, pay attention to the shadows pay attention to um, details that you typically would miss when you're outside or in your bedroom at night with the lights off it helps it trains you to be more observant to the unseen so try that exercise, as funny as it might sound, it really does work in helping to train your mind's eye to be more observant and to be open and to look for the unseen. And a few good crystals to use if you're trying to develop your clairvoyance, um, amethyst, iolite is great, and labradorite. Try those crystals while you're doing the exercise, it will help you. The second most commonly used clair sense is clair audience, which means clear hearing. And this is an ability to be able to hear sounds that have no physical source. Now, you can hear these sounds sometimes in your mind. You'll hear them in your head, as I do when I'm giving readings. Um, anyone who's ever had a reading with me knows I will say, well, they're saying this or they're saying that, and I'm talking about my spirit guides because I can hear them in my head talking to me. Um, and other times your Claire audience will kick in when you might hear something, but you'll hear it with your ear. It'll be outside of your ear. You might hear a noise in the room. You might hear a voice in the room with you. That's all part of Claire audience. And an exercise to start priming your Claire audience is to really train yourself to listen. And I don't mean to just the usual sounds that we hear every day. We tune things out all day long as we go through our day. Um, it's normal. We have to focus on something, so we're tuning all the lesser sounds or the unimportant sounds out. But I want you to take a few minutes every day to, during the day and at night, 
just listen and listen for the subtle sounds. Uh, if you're home in your neighborhood, do you hear a distant siren? You may hear the children playing very loudly next door, but what other sounds can you hear that are more subtle that you might be picking up on? Uh, at night when you're in bed, again, we all tune out the sounds of our homes when we want to go to sleep, but spend a few minutes really listening to the sounds around you in your room or from your home. Can you hear the hum of the refrigerator downstairs? Can you um, pick up on some vehicle going by way off in the distance? Train yourself to really pay attention to those subtle sounds. And the reason you want to do that is because when spirit does speak to us, especially when it's in our mind, it's very subtle. So we need to train our mind and our ears to be able to pick up on these subtle sounds. And a few good crystals that would help to assist you in developing your clairaudience: audience, uh, phantom quartz, uh, sapphire, and selenite would be really good for that. And the third most commonly used clairsense is clairsentience, and that means clear feeling. A lot of empaths have this ability, and it's the ability to pick up on either the physical or emotional pain or um, feelings of others. It can also um, be picking up on the feelings of a spirit, the emotions of a spirit who's in the room with you. If you've ever had the chills when you think there's a spirit in the room with you, that's you picking up on that spirit's emotional energy. Uh, people who are healers, who are therapists and who are counselors also use this clairsense quite a bit in their work. And a good exercise to help you develop your own clairsentience is to really pay attention um, about the way you feel when you're around others. And you can do this at home with people you know, but I would really suggest you tap into what you feel when you're out in public. It's better to try this exercise around people you don't know so you won't have any preconceived ideas. Um, if you're in line at the coffee shop, what are you feeling about the person in front of you or the person behind you? And it doesn't matter if you know what they're feeling or not, and you're not going to ask them, are you happy today? Are you sad today? Are you in a grumpy mood? You're not going to do that. You're just going to go with the feeling that you receive and trust what you receive. And you can do this walking into any room, walking into a coffee shop. Is the general mood good? Is the general mood a little mm, off? What is it that you're feeling? And then also take notice when someone leaves a room. And again, this can be at home, at work, out and about in public. When someone leaves, does the atmosphere change? Do you notice a difference in the energy? Really taking the time to f tap into what you're feeling and to evaluate how this person or people around you may be feeling. You're not going to take the energy on, so do make sure do make sure that you're shielded before you try this because you don't want to take on it. any energy that's not yours, and especially if it's coming from a negative place or they're in a bad mood, you don't want to do that. So make sure you're shielded. You can still tap into their energy, but trust what you're receiving and observe how you feel when you walk away from that person or when that person leaves the room, if you're feeling much better. It's helping you to prime that clairsense. And a couple of good crystals to help you develop your clairsentience is Demortriorite, and I'm not saying that right, but I'm going to put that up on the screen for you, and clear topaz. And the fourth most commonly used clear sense is clear cognizance, clear knowing. And that clear sense allows us to have the ability to n have knowledge of people, places, and events that we wouldn't normally have knowledge of. And if you've ever had one of those moments where you just know, I've got to call home because I'm a, you, you're getting a feeling, a vibe, you've got to call home. You call home and your child is sick and you had no logical reason or explanation for how you knew this information, you just knew you knew it. That's claircognizance. So an exercise for developing your claircognizance is next time you have a minor decision to make, um, what should I make for dinner for the family tonight? Would they like A or B? And what would they prefer? Put it out that way. Don't do this if you're not used to using your claircognizance. 
don't make any big life altering decisions as part of this exercise, please. Go with something small and minor that's not going to disrupt your life. So um, would my family prefer this for dinner or this for dinner? And then trust your gut. You're going to get an answer. And always the first answer you get, don't talk yourself out of it, the first thing you get, go with the first thing that comes to you and you'll feel it in your gut. It will feel right in your gut. And the more you play with this exercise and try it out on the small things and you see that the information you're receiving is right and valid, the more you're going to trust your claircognizance. A few good crystals to help you develop your claircognizance, Labradorite, Green Prenite, and um, Pedalite. And the fifth most commonly used clairsense is clairalience, and that's clear smelling. It's the ability to smell aromas that have no physical source. Uh, you'll often hear psychics say, or mediums, I smell such and such perfume, or I smell cigarettes, or even smelling a favorite food that a loved one maybe used to eat. And a good exercise for helping you to prime your clairalience is to really pay attention to the aromas in the world around you. Uh, it's amazing when I paid attention while I was um, writing this video, I thought I really need to pay more attention to the aromas around me and walking through a supermarket was quite an experience. Um, you don't think of every aisle on the supermarket having its own scent, but they do. Um, you, you pick up subtle fragrances and it's subtle. Um, whether it's the bread aisle or the deli department or the produce department, which was my favorite to be in. Um, you can smell the fragrances that these different foods and these different sections give off. When you walk past a person, can you smell their perfume? Um, when you're walking down the street, do you smell cigarette smoke or maybe somebody's fireplace burning uh, in the distance? Really pay attention, and even within your own home. Uh, a good way to test yourself in your own home is at the end of the day, when you come home from work or being out running errands, whatever it is, when you open your door, what is the first thing you smell? Can you smell air freshener? Do you smell incense you had burning hours ago? Do you smell coffee still lingering, the aroma of coffee from uh, the coffee you made first thing in the morning. It's amazing how these aromas will linger. When we pay attention to them, we can pick up on them, and it's a great way for priming that clair sense. And a few crystals that will assist you in developing your clair aliens, um, moldavite is a good one, pedalite is a good one, and opal. Practicing those exercises that I gave you will help you to prime your clair senses so that you'll be able to pick up more psychic information. And don't be disheartened if you can't master them all. There are few psychics who really master all of them. Most psychics work with maybe three or four, um, but occasionally the fifth one will pop in for them. But most psychics don't work with all of those clear senses all the time. So don't be disheartened if you're feeling you're not mastering them all. Let me know in the comment section which clear sense seems to come most naturally to you. I would love to know. And if you have any questions about today's material, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I will see it and I promise you I will answer your question. Also, I'll list all the crystals that I listed in the video in the, com uh, in the description box as well as um, some recommended reading if you want to go a little deeper on this subject. And if you don't have any of those crystals, you can find them at Earth Spirit, New Age Center, and Red Bank. Um, you can also shop online, the online store. I'll put that up on the screen for you, but it's also in the description box. If you're interested in a reading with me, you can also give the store a call, and they can make an appointment for you to see me, whether it's in person or over the phone. I'd love to be able to read for you. And you can connect with me on social media. The links are below in the description box. As always, Remember, you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings.